My name is Steve Baskoff. I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of the Vanderbilt Herd Libraries. And this lesson is about Python programming basics. I just want to remind you that this is a part of a series of lessons called Code Graph. And if you've discovered this video without being at our website, you can go to the website at vanderbilt.lt slash codegraph. I'm going to begin the lesson by talking about how we assign objects to variables. There are many kinds of objects in Python. In fact, almost everything in Python is an object. In this lesson, though, we're going to uh, focus on three general categories of objects. And those three are strings, numbers, and Booleans. We are going to start by talking about literals. So this is literally the way that you write out what is in the object. String literals, you enclose in quotation marks. You can actually use either double quotes or you can use single quotes. Um, the convention in Python is to use single quotes, but there are circumstances such as if you have a string that has a single quote in it, then you have to enclose it in double quotes. There are also special characters that called escape characters that you indicate with a backslash. These characters are not printed as they are uh, listed, but rather they have some other function like going on to the next line. If we write numeric literals, we don't put them inside of quotation marks. We just simply write the numbers. And then there's a special category of objects called Boolean, and Booleans can have only two values, true or false. We write them as words, true or false, beginning with a capital letter, but we do not put them inside quotation marks, because if we did, then they would not be Booleans, they would simply be strings. We can assign a, one of these objects to a variable, using the assignment operator, which in Python is the equal sign. It's best if you don't think of the equal sign as meaning anything about two things being equal, but rather think of it as being like a left arrow, where the thing on the right gets passed into the thing on the left. So here's a couple examples of assigning a string, a Boolean, and a number to some variables using the assignment operator. It's also possible to assign the contents of one variable into another variable, and we can do operations on the contents of a variable before we put it into another variable. And we'll see examples of that later in this lesson. So variables can hold really any kind of object, not just the kinds that we are showing here, but for now, these are the kinds that we are going to focus on. 